Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to tell you guys the best operators for casual players in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, typically on defense, it's Rook and Mute. We're not going to go there. We're going to talk about operators that kind of help you get better at the game more than just your gun mechanics, right? Rook, you put his armor down and you need a Rook on a team, but it's kind of like you learn how to anchor really well with an ACOG operator. Then on attack, normally I guess a good operator to be if you're a noob is like Sledge, right? Because Sledge just can break a bunch of holes. Plain and simple. So let's get into it. For defense, what I would say is really good if you're like a casual, if you want to be like an anchor, right? Is after you played as Rook a while, be Doc. Doc's really good if you can get good at him. Because, you know, after you kind of get used to looking for your teammates to revive them, Doc adds another element. After you've played Rook a lot, you've learned how to anchor, then you get to Doc where you can, you know, revive and you have that extra health mechanic. He's really good to anchor. Now, if you're a roamer, right, so you're new to roaming, you have no idea how to do it right, play as a vigil. Vigil, his ability, like, really only affects him, but he's got the impact grenades, which really helps you understand where to make holes to go through. Then, after you kind of use the impact grenades, then you can maybe team up with a rook player so you can roam with Ella and not have to deal with a shotgun, right? So, that's kind of the operators I would pick if you're a casual and you want to do something beyond just, oh, be the rook or the mute main, you know? stick to Doc and Vigil as like the casuals that will help you improve, right? But it's still important to remember, at least from my knowledge, Rook is still a super important operator. Mute, I mean, you can kind of replace Mute with Bandit nowadays and maybe, t t I guess, maybe Maestro, but Rook and Mute, they're kind of the basics. Then you get up to Doc, which is really good. And then when you, after, you know, you know the maps, Vigil's a really good one to get started with. So now we're moving on to attackers. Now the normal basic attackers is Sledge and Ash. Those are like the casuals, right? Now, after you've done, you know, you understand, okay, breaching walls, right? The, the soft breaching, that's what it's called when you breach the wooden walls. The next step is, I would say, go with Thermite or Thatcher or Twitch. Those operators kind of they have them you know a harder to do roll which is the hard that's called the hard breach which is breach the the metal wall or get rid of the electronics but it adds another dynamic to your gameplay you're not just sitting there you know busting holes in soft walls and stuff um in my opinion twitch has a good shotgun so you under you know if you understand soft breaches you can use your shotgun or thermite you, know, you can start to get with the hard breaches. Hibana is a pretty advanced operator because of her three Hibanas. You know, you could pick three hatches or a hatch and two wall sites or a hatch and a wall through. There's all these combos you can do. So Hibana is pretty complicated. Now, the reason why I didn't put Montang on this list is for a basic noob operator. He's a good operator to be a, like a noob noob with, like if you've never played the game. But he can actually be a pretty advanced operator. Things like blocking enemies out of doorways, timing it just right, blocking roamers from rotating, that's all stuff Montaigne can do. So back to Thermite, Thatcher, and Twitch. If you want an easy person to get rid of electronics with, go with Thatcher. Um, Twitch is a little more advanced. Twitch is advanced because you need to know where a bunch of droning holes are and kind of how to not get spotted with a drone. You might pick that up playing casually, but if you don't, stick with Thatcher and Thermite. And basically, Thatcher and Thermite go to the same place, which is you go to the hard breach and you either blow up the metal wall or you disable the electronics for Thermite to then blow up the metal wall. And that's really the operators I would say for casuals to pick. A couple operators that seem easy to use but are really hard to use would be Capcan, Frost, and Lesion the trap operators. Traps need to be placed very diligently. A lot of people when they first start playing frost put the frosts in doorways, which logically makes sense except everyone knows to check the doorways for frost traps. Cap can, 
you might put the cap cans eye level or there's there's typical spots to put cap can mines too like after you played the game a long time lesion his trap placement requires advanced knowledge to put the traps down correctly and honestly i would say lesion's one of the better operators in the game but you need to know the maps really really well to do good with him on attack anyone that involves roamer hunting again requires advanced knowledge of the map and then there's someone like like i said the riot shield montang i mean all the riot shields are kind of hard to use i would say the basic one would be blitz he's kind of an intro to riot shields and then montang is better um and soft breachers i mean ash and sledge are pretty noob friendly but even then you can still do some cool stuff with them but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What are your favorite operators to use for casuals? Not just the basic four of Sledge, Ash, Rook, and Mute. Something a little more complicated. Something that a casual after playing this game for a while wouldn't be a hindrance to the team, but would also be an addition. I'd love to know in the comments below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.